How trees move water. Trees move a lot of water. An oak tree can use more than 150 gallons of water a day during the summer. Where does all that water go? And how does it get from the ground to the top of a tree? Trees have a vast root system to pull water from the ground. Water enters the root in a process called osmosis. In the center of a root is the start of the vascular system. This system allows water to move up to the top of a tree and sugars made in the leaves to move down throughout the rest of the tree. Water enters a root through the root hairs. It then passes through the cortex to enter the xylem. Xylem are tubes in the tree vascular system that go from the roots to the leaves. As a tree grows, new xylem are made and the old ones become part of the wood. Tree rings are formed by heartwood and sapwood, which are the old and new parts of the vascular system. Phloem are another important part of the vascular system that transports sugars made in the leaves down to the roots. Once water reaches the leaves, it is used in photosynthesis. It also evaporates in a process called transpiration. Water evaporates from a leaf through cells called stomata, which are located on the bottom of all leaves. Transpiration is the key to how water moves from the roots to the top of a tree. Inside the leaves, the need for water creates a negative pressure, which is greater at the top than it is in the roots. This pressure draws water up to the top of the tree like the suction of a straw. The more transpiration, the more pressure, and the more water gets pulled up to the top of a tree. Xylem have a narrow diameter, which means less overall pressure is needed to maintain a continuous water column from the roots to the leaves. This works the same in all trees, no matter how tall. Water enters the roots, travels through the xylem to the leaves at the top, and transpires from the leaves. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.